Hey everyone, Philip from Scan Unlimited, and I have exciting news. We have a new feature that I want to go over in this video, uh, and that feature is product folders. And it's going to be a great way for you to organize items that you find when scanning products uh, so that you can refer to them later and possibly create orders from them. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I created a help article already to uh, help people uh, get an idea of how to use product folders. There are a lot of actions that can be taken uh, when using product folders, but it's actually pretty straightforward. The first question we have to answer is, what is the purpose of product folders? Um, so you can kind of think of product folders as a, a favoriting system. Um, that was what the feature request was actually for. It was for a favoriting system. But uh, we went with the product folders um, name simply because it's actually more than just a favorite and favoriting system. You can use it for many. Um, you can use it for more than just favoriting. Um, for example, I wrote here that you can create a buy list, yes, of potential products that you might want to source, but you can maybe uh, group products from different suppliers that maybe they're not good today in terms of sourcing, but you might want to look back on. So it's kind of um, a reminder is, an, is another uh, way to look at it. You can see it's essentially a way to group listing so that it can, you can be reminded to look back at it. Uh, you can also organize a list by brand or availability if you have, let's just say, one supplier, which is a distributor, and they have many brands, you can then maybe uh, grab a few from uh, XYZ brand, put it into the XYZ folder, and maybe you have a brand of ABC and you want to put it into the ABC folder and then separate it that way. Or maybe by category, maybe all the toys go in here and maybe all of the clothing items go here. So it's really up to you to choose what you want to do with the product folder. Um, and we try to make it in a way that allows for lots of flexibility. So I'm going to kind of step through the help article with you guys, uh, just in video form. So when you first uh, open Scan Unlimited and you get the newest version, you'll see that uh, there's an extra item in the side nav called product folders. And product folders uh, is where all of your product folders will sit. Now you'll notice something that when you click product folders, you actually can't create a product folder. This view right here is just simply to show you what product folders you have and then to click the, the folder to see the contents of that folder. To create a folder and to populate a folder, you have to uh, start by opening a scan because folders are created from scans. So let's go ahead and jump into a scan right here. Okay, so I pulled up an example scan and let's say, for example, that um, based on the filters you applied, you really like these three here at the top, maybe because the sales rank is really good. So what you can do is you can select the, uh, the items that you want to add, then go to the drop down and choose add to folder and you'll see there's a new folder uh, option. If you had a folder, you'd be able to choose that folder. But since in this account, we have no folders yet, it says new folder. So we're going to click new folder. And let's say I'm going to call it the Funko buy list because that's the name of the brand in this situation. So I'm going to press save and it added those items to my Funko product folder. So if I go back to product folders, um, you'll see that there's now a product folder called Funko Buy List uh, and the date that I created it. If I click it, then I'll be able to actually see the contents and here are those items that we just put in. So an item inside of a product folder is almost identical to the item that's inside of a scan. There are some exceptions. So everything that's brought in from a scan is kind of like a snapshot from that scan. So everything that's in that scan, uh, if those numbers change, because let's say you updated package quantity inside of your scan, then it's not going to change here. This is uh, basically when you add 
to a folder, it grabs a snapshot of that item and sends it to your folder. So everything is static, like the ROI, all that stuff is exactly the way you had it when it was in your scan. And there's a bunch of reasons why we ended up going that path. And one of them is that uh, this allows you to make a folder with all kinds of combinations of items that you normally can't do in a scan. You can have uh, listings with different conditions, different fulfillment methods, uh, different marketplaces, different currencies even. So you'll see that there's these extra columns here for marketplace condition fulfillment uh, because uh, you need to be able to see that snapshot, like all the data that came alongside that item. Uh, as well as a date because again because it's a snapshot from your scan it knows when that item was scanned now you might be asking every scan you have the ability to add unlimited custom columns right you can add as many custom columns as you want but every scan might be different so uh, to solve that issue uh, knowing that you can add a listing from any scan what we came up with is a memo so in the very front of any listing you have this little clipboard and you can see with a little tooltip all the information inside of the memo and this is it it's pre-populated with your custom column data so if i click this you see that this was actually from the scan so if i jump back from the scan and go to cut the custom column i had right here 31721 that's where it's getting this so it puts the column name and then the item number but at this point you are afraid to put any notes that you might want like ask supplier if they will give a discount like maybe as a um, as a reminder right and save that and so you can see now in the tooltip that that memo has now been updated so you can uh, put anything you want into memos as a way to just yeah write a note let's say after talking to a supplier if you're using this as a buy list um, let's just say you talk to your supplier and you're like oh okay I, I, I don't want to have this one to remove an item from a folder uh, there's two ways you can press the little trash icon on the right or you can select the box the checkbox and then go up to the drop down and say remove products and then say remove and so that'll remove it from your folder again this does not affect your scan at all the item is still in your scan it's just removed from your folder uh, if you need to download your folder there is the ability to download you can download all of your results into an excel if you need to if, if you need to rename your folder you also have the option by clicking this little pencil icon and then naming it something else let's say that you no longer need the whole folder um, you can either select all and remove the, uh, the all the products or if you're in the product folder view you can um, delete the, the whole folder and that'll delete the folder and all of its contents okay guys so that is the feature um, like I said, it's made to be very flexible. So I gave an example of a buy list, but that's not necessarily uh, the only uh, use case for it. So go ahead and um, I'm really excited to see how you guys use the product folders. Um, and then I really wanna hear your feedback so that we can go ahead and add functionality or tweak it to better suit uh, everybody's needs. Uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and like the video. That really helps our channel out. And I hope to see you guys next time in the next feature update video. See ya. Bye.